here hi here we will discuss about support vector machine the support vector machine can be used for classification and also uh, regression problems in this session we will see the classification of support vector machine algorithm so which is a supervised learning algorithm it, it, can, it can be using for classification and also regression problems however mostly we will use the svm for classification problems the goal of svm is it should create optimal decision boundary that isolate n dimensional spaces into different classes here in this uh, picture which is shown here this center line is called decision boundary so this is this decision boundary is segregate the green color point as a one class and the blue color points as a another class so which is separating the data set into different classes the that is the main goal of svm so whenever the new data point is uh, uh, enter into enter into the model which, which can be classified into the correct class category the optimal decision boundary is called here the hyperplane svm chooses extreme data points or vectors that help in creating the hyperplane is called support vectors so in this picture we are having support vector as this data point this data point green color data point and this blue color data point once again i am repeating here this data point is acting as a support vector for the green color class and this blue color uh, data point is acting as a support vector for this positive class blue color class so this through this we will draw the again parallel hyperplane so parallel hyperplane we are drawing on the support vectors which is called marginal hyperplane marginal hyperplane so this marginal hyperplane in negative class is called negative hyperplane the marginal hyperplane which is available in the positive class is called positive hyperplane the distance between these two margins is called here the marginal distance so here we are having the distance this distance between two marginal lines is called marginal distance the hyperplane uh, needed here the that is central line which is drawn in the picture which is used to classify the different data sets to, to classify the different data sets so which is uh, very closest members which is used se selecting very closest member uh, as a different classes the hyperplane is the central line in the given plot so in this plot the hyperplane is draw showing as a line because this data is dimension which is having the only two features our data set is having two features suppose when we are taking the uh, table of data here which is having two features x1 and x2 here we will have the actual uh, output y so based upon this data set which is classifying so if our features are a two dimension then the hyperplane will be drawn as a line if our feature feature set our data set is 3d if we have one more feature x3 then it will become a 3d data 3d data so at that time the hyperplane will be two dimensional plane let's consider here the feature space uh, in blank space of paper so here the assume the line is cutting through it from center so the that line is called hyperplane so this this is the piece of paper then the line is which is uh, cutting uh, cutting uh, through the center so which is called hyperplane the equation for the hyperplane is always hypothesis of given sample x equal to represented as y represented as y this is the hypothesis sometimes it is uh, denoted with 
y or y dash y or y dash small y or y dash w0 w1 x1 and w2 uh, x2 so here uh, x1 and x2 are features x1 and x2 are features which are two dimensions and here the w1 w2 are the parameters which are used in the uh, used for the x1 and x2 respectively and w0 is the intercept for the hyperplane w0 is the intercept for hyperplane so this can be written y equal to w transpose x plus b so here x is capital x in the sense here uh, w take care of all parameters x take care of all the features that this is the bias which is the intercept for the hyperplane in uh, classification whenever the data points are lying under the hyperplane you look at here these are the data points these are the data points which are lying under the hyperplane which is considered as less than zero why is predicted hypothesis hypothesis or predicted output whichever data points are lying below the hyperplane which is assumed as a class zero when the data points are above the hyperplane then these data points these are all the data points which are all above the hyperplane is assumed as a y greater than or equal to zero so this is another class this is another class so this is the way to classify the data by using given hyperplane in svm mostly we will take y equal to minus one then data in class the class one if y equal to minus one the data will be available in the uh, class minus one that is negative class positive class and negative class so here you see if y less than or equal less than zero means that will be the minus one so this data which is available uh, below the hyperplane is class minus one minus one means negative class negative class and also if the data point predicted is greater than or equal to zero that will be called plus one so these data points above the data above the hyperplane is called positive class the data points which are used to uh, get the marginal lines so here the data points which are all used to get the negative hyperplane which is the negative marginal line and the data points which are used to get the positive positive uh, hyperplane which is uh, which which points are called the six points are called support vectors in this given plot given plot so this is the way to classify the data by using support vector machine thanks for watching